Let's set the scene, or in this case, the scenery. You're finally out on that RV vacation, exploring new places, connecting, and just getting away from the daily drama. This is the Class C RV made for your next trip. Hi, I'm Steve from Thor Motor Coach, and this is the 2022 Chateau. We're starting in the 22E, and this is going to be a fully equipped Class C motorhome under 25 feet with no wall slide. And when we say this Chateau is fully equipped, check this out. Seating in the 22E is this multi-function dream dinette. Work, play, or rest, you are going to love the options and comfort you have here. As we move on, a lot of your controls are going to be found right here on this control panel. Now, its location is going to vary from floor plan to floor plan. No matter where it's located, you'll be able to check your tank levels, put out your slides, start the 4,000 watt gas generator. In some cases, you'll find the controls for your dual roof mounted ACs, and on some floor plans, even lower your one touch leveling jacks. The kitchen in your 22E is going to be campsite. It's all here, your stove, and where the oven would be, you'll find storage. You have your microwave, your double door fridge, even a flip up countertop extension so you have the space you need. A few steps back from the kitchen and we are in the bedroom. This is a comfortable corner queen bed. Right across you can keep what you need in the closet. You also have a corner bath that has everything you need on board. You certainly get a lot on the 22E, but if you need more room and features, let's check out the 25V. If you like the look of the home collection you see here, which is estate gray decor and Ivory Coast cabinets, you can get it on every chateau floor plan. In the living area, you have your dream dinette. It's set up for dinner here, but notice this, that is a built-in wireless charger. Like the kitchen in every chateau, it is well equipped. Here we have the flip up countertop and sink cover, your gas cooktop, the microwave, and what everyone needs in the kitchen, great storage. Into the bedroom and check out this setup. This is the twin bed setup. You have storage underneath, or you can slide the middle cushions in place for a wall-to-wall -wall bed. You'll also find a great storage cubby with USB charging and even a TV. You have a super nice bathroom setup in here. It's what you need, and remember the size of the 25V. It's all here. The sink, your shower, and this great area that has a usable countertop and even storage. The Chateau also has entertainment options on board every floor plan. You'll have a cable-ready TV in your living area. There is satellite backer on the roof if you'd like to add a dish. This way you'll be able to catch up on all your favorite shows, movies, and games. Now if you're into streaming, how about the internet anywhere you travel? The Chateau comes with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. This means a safe, secure internet connection no matter where you happen to be camping. Using a data plan from any carrier or through WineGuard, you can easily set up your own one password internet connection and now you know you are safe when you tap into that nearby public Wi-Fi signal. So let's grab another look at the 25V and we are stepping up in size. This is the 28A shown here in Windsor Gray Decor and Carolina Cherry Wood. If you are in the market for a class CRV with no slide under 30 feet, then this is the one. Getting into the living area, we have the dinette with the built-in cup holders, and again, the wireless charging. And I do want to point out this does have USB-C and A ports as well if your phone does not support wireless charging. We find a cozy sofa on the other side, and on every floor plan, the sofa and dinette easily make into a bed. The kitchen is equipped with a three burner gas cooktop, an oven, and a microwave. Your sink has covers, and this is everything you need for your favorite at-home meals on the road. The 28A features this split bath. On one side, you have your shower. Over here, everything else you need. You'll find nice sized counters and storage space for towels. If you love a north-south bed, here you go. This is a queen bed back here. You'll find closet space and this large nightstand with all sorts of charging ports. As we take one more look at the 28A from back to front, you cannot miss the overhead bunk. We're talking an 800 pound capacity and you'll find this on every chateau. When you step into the bigger floor plan, such as the 31W, you also step into a few more features. We're gonna start in the living area and check out these seating options. As you have in every chateau, you're gonna find your dream dinette. On the other side, you have a jackknife sofa, or as you see here, the optional theater seats. 
So the sofa and dinette make into beds along with the overhead bunk. As we check out the kitchen in the 31W, you have solid surface counters and sink covers for the large single bowl stainless steel sink. You have a dual burner gas cooktop with single electric induction burner, your convection microwave, a refrigerator, and a pantry. This is a fully loaded kitchen you can take anywhere. Walking down the hall and into the bathroom, the 31W has some very nice features in here, like the curved shower with glass door. You have counter space around the sink and every chateau has a porcelain foot flush toilet. In the bedroom, the 31W features a queen bed. You have large nightstands with charging ports and across we find the closet, dresser, and TV. As you take another look around, we wind up back up front by the over the cab bunk. Underneath the bunk, the cockpit, and you will not have a better time getting from point A to point B. So just like the floor plans, when it comes to chassis for your chateau, you have a couple of options. You have a Ford and you have a Chevy. We are going to drive both. We are going to walk through the features and functions of the dashboard as well, and we are gonna start in the Chevy. Right over here, you have window controls, power windows, power locks, heated remote mirrors. If you are equipped with heated remote mirrors, this is where you will control them and you will turn on the heat. And if you are equipped with side view cameras in each camera, left and right, when you turn your direction on, which is controlled with this stalk right here, whatever is in the field of view of that camera will pop up right here in your infotainment center. Continuing our tour, you have auto headlights here. You can turn those in auto. They will automatically come on when the sensors pick up. It is dark out. We'll show you how to adjust that in just a minute. You also have a button here to turn on the dome light up above. Over on the left side of the steering wheel, you have four buttons that control the display in your dash. As we talk about the dash, you have your oil pressure, you have your temperature gauge, you have your battery voltage, you have your fuel gauge, you have your speedometer, and in the center is a little display. You can change what is in that display using these four buttons. So let's run through the menu here. You have two trip meters, trip A, trip B. You have how many miles are left in the tank, your average fuel economy, how many gallons of fuel you've actually used on that trip. You also have the average speed, and you have your tachometer. So instead of the analog gauges, it is a digital tack right in the center below the speedometer here. One more click and it turns off. Next button below shows you how much oil life you have remaining. You can change the units, whether you want English or metric, how many hours you have on your engine. You have another button below it, and this is where you can change things like your display language, the door locks, the lights, which we are talking about. So a number of options in here you can change with this button. And when you do make a change, the fourth button is a check mark. That is like the okay, if you will. On your steering wheel, you do have buttons for your cruise control. Continuing the tour of the dash, on the right you have a tow haul mode. When you press this in, you'll get an indicator light on the dash that it is working. And what this is going to do is change the shift patterns of your transmission. Now, if you would like to shift yourself, you can do that. On the column shifter here, there's a plus or a minus. When you put it in M, now you are in control of the way your chateau shifts. Down here we have a nice 12 volt port. This button turns your traction control on and off. Over here you do have a 120 volt outlet. You have another 12 volt port over here, a couple of cubbies, maybe you want to put your phone up here. You have HVAC controls up top and you have your infotainment center. So let's go through the features and functions and how you're gonna pull up your music on the road trip. Well, you have radio. You also have Sirius XM satellite radio. You can mirror your phone. You have Bluetooth calling and you have Bluetooth music, so hands-free right there. You have a rear camera button that will pull up the rear camera at any point during your trip. It will stay on while you are driving down the road so you can always see what is behind you to go back home. You just simply press the orange button here. Then you press the home button again and you can go over and control a couple of settings here as well. The zone buttons control the speakers over the dinette on this particular floor plan. So if your passengers want to listen to music, that's how you would turn that on. So the cockpit of the Chateau has everything you need for a great road trip. And under the hood is the new 6.6 .6 liter Chevy V8. And I'll tell you what, there are not a lot of sounds in this world that are greater than a Chevy V8. So what do you say we get this Chateau out for an RV road test? A little rain, a little snow, or inclement weather as the weather professionals would say. Not an issue for the Chateau because it is equipped with a number of safety features that do come standard. You have stability track, stability control, and traction control system. You also have electronic stability control with traction assistance. That includes electronic trailer sway control and hill start assist. Having the assurance of those safety features is a great peace of mind because Chevy really stepped up their game this year. This is the new 6.6 .6 liter engine. This beast is laying down 
401 horsepower, 464 pound-feet of torque. That is tied to a six-speed heavy-duty automatic transmission. Now, this transmission is electronically controlled. You do have overdrive. You do have a tow haul mode that we talked about. But remember, this does include cruise-grade braking and powertrain-grade braking. That is all information you want stored in the back of your head because when you put the hammer down in this and open it up, this chateau is going to power you off to your destination in smooth fashion. So what we're gonna do now is hop into the Ford and we're gonna put the hammer down on Godzilla. As impressive as the Chevy is, the Ford is equally impressive with a very similar feature set as we walk through the dash over here on your door sill. You have controls for your windows, power locks, heated remote mirrors, and again, you do have cameras on these mirrors, so whatever is in the field of view of that camera, when you turn on your directional, will show up right here in your infotainment center. You have auto headlights over here. The buttons on the left and right control the brightness on your dash. You have emergency start down below. You have a tilt and telescoping wheel, so you can dial in the perfect ride. Over here on the steering wheel, you have controls for your cruise control. You do have a number of buttons over here for your thumb. That controls the cluster in the center of the dash. The infotainment center is the exact same setup we talked about in the Chevy. What's different though? What is under the hood? This chateau is powered by Godzilla, so what do you say? We take it out for an RV road test. Now that we have this Ford out on the road, let's get into the nitty gritty. You have two choices, an E350 and an E450. The difference here is going to be you have a larger GVWR and GCWR on the 450, so you're gonna get more towing capacity. On both the 350 and the 450, under the hood, you have that 7.3 liter Godzilla V8. Oh, it is sweet. We're talking 350 horsepower, 468 pound-feet of torque. Just listen to the sound when you put the hammer down. Oh, so nice. You do have a lot of the same safety features on the Ford that we talked about on the Chevy, such as a hill start assist. You do have traction control. We showed you how to turn that off on the dash. Works just like it does in the Chevy. When you step up into the larger floor plan, such as the 31W that we are driving right now, you get smooth tech suspension. It's an airless suspension system. It's gonna soak up all the imperfections in the road. It's gonna give you a smoother ride and up to four more inches of suspension travel. What Smooth Tech does is it teams up with the leaf spring suspension system. It's not a stiffer ride. Again, it is a smoother ride. The name says it all. So as you can see, both the Chevy and the Ford offer you a long list of impressive features in the dash and a very impressive drive. A lot of impressive features on the outside of the Chateau. So we're going to pull into camp and walk around the outside. No matter how much you enjoy your road trip, it's always great when you get to your destination and set up camp. It's real easy to do in the Chateau. You have 30 amp shore power with an automatic transfer switch with power protection. 100 watts of solar charging is optional on most floor plans. And with the size of the storage bays on some floor plans, you can bring along just about anything you want. Like your own grill, as most floor plans have an exterior propane connection. So how cool is it to be able to cook out when you're set up at the beach or in the mountains? The setup is not done yet we still need to put out the power awning and turn on those LED lights. Now on some Chateau floor plans, you have an exterior TV. So sit back and enjoy the ride because there is no drama when you travel like this. This is the 2022 Chateau. For all the features, specs, and to find the Chateau floor plan made to fit you, visit ThorMotorCoach.com. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800-335-6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. 
These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?